Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman in today's video. I want to talk to you today about just being loyal. So we already know, you know, uh, one of the instructions from the Lord is for the God-ordained believing spouse to be loyal to your God-ordained prodigal spouse during this process. And, you know, we know this, you know, God is looking to see, will we be obedient to his instruction, right? Uh, because whatever you do for your uh, prodigal spouse, you're doing it you know, unto God. And so I want to talk to you today about a few things that I'm just, uh, I'm just observing that is happening, you know, um, to me, when you get to a certain point in this God ordained love stance, maybe when you get to around stage eight of, this God, uh, of the nine stages that God ordained believing spouses go through before you see this prominent manifest, when you get to around stage eight, um, you know, God, He's going to, you know, he's going to put his light on you. His favor is going to be shining all over you. Um, and you're going to become very attractive to a lot of people, okay? Uh, that, that rejection curse is broken off of you. You know, people are now starting to see your light. You know, now you're attracting a lot of people who want to be around you. And you're going to attract a lot of counterfeits, okay? And so, you know, uh, the other day, you know, I was out, uh, my son and I, and you know this one this one man you know he pulled up in his truck and we we you know my son and i we was holding some bags in our hands and i made a i made a sound to let him know that the bass was too heavy so he was like he was like do you want me to carry the bass for you so i said yes you know like yeah absolutely so he grabbed the bag and he also grabbed my son's bags as well you know and he went on ahead and took him inside this store we was going into um and I said to him, I was like, I appreciate you. I was like, thank you. I appreciate you. But I couldn't help but notice when he went outside the, 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 the door, he was standing right there waiting on me to come out. And so I was like, Lord Jesus, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting up here praying. I was like, come on, Lord, go ahead. Let, let the man go away. So he eventually walked away. So that was that day. And then today, you know, I'm out at the grocery store. And again, you know, here come two more you know, and we're just talking or whatever. And, and you know, I, I'm I'm picking up on the flirting. You know, he's like, oh, your nails are really cute. I'm like, thank you. You know, um, you know, and but he didn't try to holler, you know, but I, he probably was picking up on my clues. OK, <laughs> you know, and so I was just like, all right, have a great day. You know, thank you, et cetera, et cetera. And so I, I'm sharing this video because, yes, it feels good, you know, to have people flirting with you yes it also feel good you know um you know to have you know a man even if he is a counterfeit to do things for you you know um to even give you a compliment all of that feels great but i'm gonna tell you something because i have a different mindset you know when god revealed to you like who your person is right when he revealed to you that this is the person he has chosen for you what god is looking for in in us is to see do you fear me tequila do you understand my scripture because scripture talks about if we i gonna paraphrase here it talks about if we reject um instruction poverty and shame shall be our portion right so each time when i'm out and i and i'm approached by these counterfeits like i said it feel good <laughs> it feel good you know you know, with the compliments and, you know, how they just keep coming up towards me. However, immediately in my mind, it says it's pointless to even give you my number. It's pointless to even entertain you because I already know who my person is. God already revealed this to me. So it's pointless to give my time and energy to you because it's not going anywhere, right? This is my mindset. It, it ain't going anywhere. It's pointless, you know, once God revealed to you who your person is, it's just a waste of time to entertain that counterfeit. Because you already know this isn't going anywhere. It's not, you know, what sense do it does it make for me to get my emotions involved in this person, this counterfeit, you know, try to build something with this counterfeit when I know whatever we do together is going to be built on sand. It's going to come crashing down. It's pointless, right? So this is why you know i'm quick to just tell them hey thank you i appreciate you have a great day right that's why you know i don't entertain it because it's already in my mind it's pointless 
And also, I fear God. I fear God, right? I'm not trying to put the Lord to the test, you know? You know, you know, it's some things I have seen during this God ordained stance that I don't necessarily agree with or like, but I'm not going to allow the enemy that's showing up in this God ordained stance to cause me to now become disobedient to my Heavenly Father. No. I take that hurt and pain to my Heavenly Father and I tell God, this is what I don't like. This is what I don't agree with. I need correction, you know, to show up over here. I take all that to my Heavenly Father and He is the one who deal with it. He deal with that hurt and pain. He bring correction to the situation. So I'm saying this because I want everyone to just really see how I handle counterfeits when they come my way. Because best believe, like I said, when you get to a certain point in this God ordained love stand, they're coming, okay? They're going to be persistent. The enemy is going to send you exactly your type, okay? What you found attractive, okay? They're going to treat you, you know, they're going to meet your affection need when, when you might be feeling neglected, okay? They're going to say all the good things you want to hear, but it's going to boil down to, you know, do you understand scripture? Do you fear the Lord? And are you going to be obedient to the instructions of the Lord? So, you know, be loyal, okay? Don't entertain no counterfeit because that's saying Whatever you do with a counterfeit, you build it on sand. And just like scripture say, whatever comes up against it is going to come falling down, okay? Um, God already told you who your person is. Just be patient. And that's the other thing, too, because I'm not in a rush. I'm enjoying this process. I understand this process. I understand, you know, like um, the time frame and why, you know, you know, why certain things are happening. I understand it. So I'm not impatient. I'm not in a hurry. Right. I see what God is doing in this situation. And another mindset I take as well <laughs> when I see these counterfeits, because I always say to myself, even if the thought comes to my mind to entertain it, I always say, I don't know what comes with you. I don't know, because right now you 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 presenting to me your representative, but I don't know the enemy in you. See, at least with my person, I know what I'm dealing with. I, I see the progress we, we have made, okay, in prayer, right? I know what comes with that, but I don't know what comes with you. And that, that's another reason why I, I don't entertain you. That's another reason why. It's pointless, because again... If God already revealed to you this is your person, it's pointless to entertain a counterfeit. A counterfeit job is to deter, you know, the um, like steer you away from your um destiny. Counterfeit bring confusion and chaos, you know. But I don't want that. I want the opposite. So I just wanted to share that with you all today. Uh, just know they're coming. And God is going to be looking to see, are you going to continue to pass the test? See, God want to do a new thing. God want to show this wor world what it means to be loyal again. And God is, he's basically calling us to the carpet. And he's asking us, can I use you? Will you be the first to show what loyalty looked like? Will you be the one to set that example? He's calling us to the carpet. Okay. So... I wanted to share that with you all today. I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you all real soon. Take care.